What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of a lynx cat. Now you want to start today's lesson by adding some guidelines to help us with the symmetry of our drawing. We're going to start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. So start at the very top. It's going to work our way down towards the bottom. Now in the center of our page, let's draw another line going across from left to right. And now we're going to use these lines to help us create a circle in the center of our page. From the center, let's move up to the top. It's going to mark off the top of our circle. Now I want to take this distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. And then we'll repeat that same process across this horizontal line. From the center, let's step out toward the left. And again, taking this distance out towards the right. Now I want to connect the center of each point with a curve to create our circle. So we we'll start with the top left. I'm just going to rough this in. We don't have to be perfect. You can always go back and readjust the shape. We just want to capture the right size and placement on our page. Now that we have our guidelines and circle in place, let's start blocking in the basic facial features. Now halfway between the center of our circle and the outside on the left, we're going to sketch a circle for the eye going all the way around and then back up. Now let's draw the same size circle on the right. So find the center point, go up toward the same height. Now in the center of each circle, it's gonna draw a small dot for the pupil. Now we wanna add a little bit of shape to the eyes. Let's start from the top of our circle, draw a straight line going out toward the side. And then from the inside, it's gonna angle this down and then in toward that center line. Now the mouth is going to sit along the bottom of our circle, so we want to step up and draw an upside down triangle for the nose. So go up toward the left and right side. Close off the top with a curve. Now from the inside corner of the eyes, let's bend this down and then out toward the side for a trim. Let's round this out and just pull this back in towards the bottom of our circle. Now along the bottom of our circle, we add the chin. We come down, round this out, and pull that back up towards the right. Now let's add a little bit more shape to the head. From the top left side of our circle, let's so bend this down and then out. Let's line up the top over on the right and do the same thing. And I'm gonna round up the side and just bend that back in towards the chin. And then we'll go back up to the top and add in the ears. From this top point, curve the ear going up and then out. Do the same thing on the right. Now from the top, we're gonna come down and then bend that back in towards the side of the head. Now halfway along the inside of the ear, so we curve this in and then down on top of the head, go up and out towards the right. Now once we have the basic shape of our drawing, I'm going to go back and add a second level of detail. Let's start with the eyes. Starting on the outside, we're just going to curve this down and then in towards the bottom on both sides. And then from the bottom of the eye, bend this in and then down. From the side of the nose, we're going to add a curve going out and then up along the side of the muzzle. And then on the tip of the ears, draw a short line going up and out. Now we're going to go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Once we're happy with the proportions of our drawing, we'll go back and refine our shapes and add some more details. Let's start with the eyes. I'm going to pull this in toward the inside, toward the point. I'm just working our way around the eyes and then out. I'm just lightly shading in the corners of the eyes, also along the inside.
I'm just lightly blocking in some of the textures around the face. Also some lines for some fur along the chin. Once we're happy with the basic shapes, we're going to go back and darken up our contrast. Let's start with the eyes. dark shadow across the top of the eyes and then shade that down about halfway. Also adding a little bit of texture along the outside of the iris. It's going to add a little bit of fur shading just around the side of the muzzle, coming from the eye, and then sweeping that out. Add some spots across the muzzle. And then using the tip of pencil, I'm just going to add some fur texture just underneath the mouth. And we'll just work our way up across the edge of the muzzle. Let's add some soft fur going out from the side of the muzzle. pencil to add a little bit of texture inside. Also going from the outside, working our way in.
Now we're gonna go back up to the top of the head and work that fur coming down. You just wanna get the right tones. Just a light tone going across the head and in towards the middle. Now we're just adding some subtle markings across the head. And we'll add a soft texture around the ears. So we'll start from the outside. We just want to darken this up, just pulling this in towards the fur. I just want to enhance that fur tip on the ears. Just darken that up. And shave in the top of the head.
Now, as you get near the end, we'll tighten up our shadows and fur textures, and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a lynx cat. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.